In the dimly lit corridors of Wall Street, where fortunes are made and lost with a mere keystroke, there exists a tale that defies reason, a tale of greed, deception, and redemption. Gather close, my friend, for I shall reveal the enigma of Jordan Belfort, the infamous wolf of Wall Street. They say Belfort emerged from the shadows, a man with eyes like polished steel, reflecting the flickering stock tickers. His firm, Stratton Oakmont, whispered promises of wealth to the desperate and the naive, but behind the slick suits and manicured smiles, darker currents flowed. Rumors swirled of pump-and-dump schemes, manipulated markets, and fortunes built on the bones of unsuspecting investors. The authorities pounced, and he faced the cold bars of his prison cell. Yet, even in captivity, he wielded influence. A deal struck with the devil, an FBI informant betraying his own kind. The courtroom buzzed with speculation. Was he a remorseful penitent or a cunning chess player, sacrificing pawns to save his king? Released from confinement, Belfort penned his memoir, The Wolf of Wall Street. The pages dripped with excess, cocaine fueled orgies, yachts slicing through azure waves and the relentless pursuit of the almighty dollar. Hollywood seized upon this sordid saga, casting DiCaprio to portray the man who danced on the precipice of morality. But here's the twist, my friend. Belfort's transformation wasn't complete. He morphed into a motivational speaker, peddling success secrets to eager crowds. Skeptics scoffed. How could a wolf become a shepherd? Was it redemption or a calculated pivot? The whispers grew louder. Beware false prophets, for they wear tailored suits. The wolf of Wall Street, once a predator, now prowls the lecture halls, spinning tales of reinvention. But the shadows cling, the ghosts of shattered dreams, the echoes of betrayed trust. For in the heart of every bull market lies a bear, waiting to devour the unwary. Comment below. Is redemption possible for a wolf?